Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another one of my Windows customizations videos. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to install the futuristic cityscape theme. This is what it will look like. I will leave a link in the description to the skin as well as to the background. And if you don't like this wallpaper, then I also found this really cool one that you guys might actually like. It's also a futuristic city. Uh, just like this one so if you guys aren't happy with that one you can get this one okay so first uh, I download the final release because it's stable as I say in all my videos final release is always better than the beta because beta is unstable and you won't get bugs and won't get errors so you just save the file then you just click run next and then launch if you have a uh, solid state hard drive I would recommend this if you don't then just leave it unchecked because then it will take forever to, for your computer to start up um, okay so after you have that what you want to do is open up brain meter okay so you will see a little drop to the bottom right uh, nothing came up when you click rain meter because it starts minimized that's how rain meter always starts if you right click and click manage you, all your skins and themes are going to be here so if you guys want to go ahead and click on the link in the description for this theme go ahead and do that and you will see a link that says download file and then click here to download future cityscape uh, RM skin with that extension means rain meter skin so go ahead to save file and now you will see uh, the file in the downloads folder click it and then just click install everything should be checked and then click install so after you have installed it you can go to the drop again right click and click manage and you will see the future cityscape here in the in the uh, in your skin section um, if you guys want to delete skins, what you can do is go to Start, go to Documents, go to the Rain Meter folder, Skins, and you can right-click and delete any of those skins. Uh, those folders would be, each one of these folders is a skin, um, just uh, for your information. Okay, so after you have Futuristic Cityscape, you can go ahead and just load everything it's gonna take a little bit to do but this is how you do it you load the skins and they pop up on your desktop and you can move them around remember you have these options here so you could click through drag make them draggable make them undraggable transparency and hover means uh, uh, just leave hover alone but position normal you can make it go on top of like web pages, basically things like that. Um, you can make it go on top of the icons depending on your positioning. Okay, so um, or let me just finish this. Let me just keep clicking load. Uh, no, and that I guess shouldn't happen, but it did. So if that happens, just that's actually very rare for rain meter to do that. I've never ever had that happen to me. Um, but if you just click rain meter, you can see that the skins we loaded come out. And let me go back to rain meter. That wasn't supposed to happen, but I guess you know technology at its best, right? Recycling bin. You can have a skin for that. Rotator. I like the rotator. The rotator looks really cool. It just looks really awesome. Oh, it has a second rotator. I didn't know that. Well, now that looks really cool. <laughs> CPU and RAM information. I like that. See, it's starting to look futuristic already. Time. Volume. Ooh, it has a slider for your volume. That's actually really cool. Let me move these icons, actually. 
Yeah, that looks awesome. Uh, and and you can mix all the skins. You can mix them all if you like. Uh, right now, I'm just gonna do that. But uh, if you want to unload a skin, you can right click it and click unload, and it'll make it go away. And then you could just make it reload by going into your skin section and click and load. Uh, let's see the wallpapers. I have the wallpapers, I believe, here. No, I don't have the wallpaper there. Where did I have a link to the wallpaper? Well, it'll be in the description for you guys, but for me, oh, here we are. For me, I had to do, do it this way because I didn't leave it open before. And if when you set it as a background, let's just click set background. If you get these black, if you have like a 1080 uh, by 1920 screen, you will get these black uh, lines over here, right over here. What you want to do is just click uh, personalize, click desktop background, then click center and make it uh, fill. And that should be it. And like I said, if you guys don't like that background you can always do the one I have in the description the other one which is this one you can set background and that actually looks really cool but uh you know mess around with the rain meter have fun guys and uh watch my other videos on rain meter all right guys that's it peace out like comment subscribe thank you